guys, it's Miss Maya from the Green Free Library here to share another story time with you. I miss everyone and I hope you're all well and safe at home. Hi to Anna, Peter, Kate and Andrew, Sari, Parker, Lydia, Ella, Stanley and Henry, and to all the other children who come to the library for story time. And welcome to everyone else who's watching. Today I thought we'd get warmed up with a couple of songs. Do you guys remember I'm a Little Teapot? Good. Show me your handle and show me your spout. Ready? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shut. Just tip me over and pour me out. Good. Now let's change things up. Let's make our handle here and our spout over here. Ready? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Just tip me over and pour me out. Good job. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we sang Down by the Bay. And I made uh, some flannel board animals to help us remember the words to the song. And I also added... Uh, a silly animal rhyme. Did any of you make up any silly animal rhymes to add to the song at home? I made up two more and we'll do those at the end. Are you ready? Help me out. Down by the bay where the watermelons grow back to my home I dare not go for if I do my mother will say did you ever see a goose kissing a moose down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go for if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever see a whale with a polka dotted tail down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go for if I do. My mother will say, did you ever see a fly wearing a tie down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a bear combing his hair down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, Back to my home, I dare not go for if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever see a llama eating his pajamas? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go for if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever see a cat wearing a hat? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go for if I do, my mother will say, here's one of my new rhymes, did you ever see a pig dancing a jig, down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go for if I do. My mother will say, did you ever see a fox wearing some socks down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go for if I do. My mother will say, did you ever have a time when you couldn't make a rhyme? Down by the bay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I hope you came up with some rhymes at home that you can sing. <clears throat> Uh, today, uh, we're going to get ready for our story time, so let's do what we always do. Let me see your hands. Here we go. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, give a little clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, lay them in your lap. Very good. So today, <clears throat> we have a story about a dragon, and it's called Chester Goes Out. Written and illustrated by Maya Lisa Anderson. So let's see what this dragon does, shall we? Chester Monchester was bored one day. He needed to find something new to play. All his balls and his bats and his bikes and his skates and his puzzles and buses and his cars and his trains 
were lots of fun to use, he knew, but today for some reason they just would not do. No, today all the toys in the land of Truff were simply, just simply, just not enough. I shouldn't be bored, he said to himself. I must get out and explore instead. It's a lovely spring day for going on a walk. At the very least, I should go around my small block. So he jumped off his rock and he went down the street to find someone new and different to meet. Let's see what he finds, shall we? But he went more than a mile, and that's really not far, when he stumbled upon a do toad strumming a guitar. Yes, that's what I said, a guitar playing toad, sitting alone right there next to the road. Thought Chester to himself, I must be going mad. But then he realized the music wasn't half bad. You think he's going to stay with the toad? Let's see. So he joined in the song for an hour or two. A toad and a dragon. Well, let me tell you, if that wasn't silly. But Chester had fun, and he told that to the toad when they were done. I had a great time, and so I say thank you. But now I must find something else to do. Let's see what he's going to do next. <clears throat> so Chester walked on in the midday heat, and he hadn't gone far when he looked at his feet and he saw they were tired and dirty and sore so he decided to rest before he walked anymore. I'll find a nice tree and prop up my feet. Then I think it's time to find something to eat. Let's begin lunchtime, huh? So there sat Chester in the shade of the tree and he was dreaming of lunch when what did he see? But a bear in a boat out on the lake who was fishing with a pole, for goodness sake. Chester hollered a greeting and the bear came ashore and he held up some fish and he said, mm, I've got plenty more. Think he's going to share his lunch? Let's see. So why not join me for lunch and we'll fry up this fish and I assure you it will make quite a tasty dish. Then Chester and Rupert, for that was his name, each had a fish and then started again. When they both had their fill and the meal was through, Chester said, I guess it's time that I left you. Where's he going to go now? He waved a goodbye and went on his way. Soon he realized it was getting quite late in the day. I should start back for home, he said to himself when he heard a noise that sounded like an elf. Chester turned around just in time to see a tiny creature jump from behind a tree. What do you suppose that creature is? I don't know. Hello, my small friend, and who are you? You look kind of sad. Is there anything I can do? I'm called a Grimmel, and I'm sad, you see, because my brand new kite is stuck in that tree. I was, it was flying along so high and free when a big gust of wind took it away from me. Oh, he looks really sad, doesn't he? I tried to get it, but I'm just not tall. Do you think you could help me? Help me at all? Now, Chester was kind and pretty strong, too, and he had that kite down before you could say boo. The Grimmel said thanks and promised that he would not fly his kite near any more trees. Said Chester, I've had a nice day, one I'll never forget, but I must get on home before the sun sets. He thought as he walked of all that he'd done, and he decided that going out could be fun, but he'd had enough for one day. So when he got home, he vowed, for a while at least, to leave traveling alone. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. And since we read about a dragon, I thought we would make a dragon today out of a paper plate. And this project starts out a lot like the umbrella we made a few weeks ago because we used a paper plate for that too. Remember, we cut the plate in half. All right, but remember to have an adult help you 
with any of the cutting parts. All right. And then we made some scoops on the bottom of half of the paper plate. And then on the other part of the paper plate that was left, I cut out the rim. And then I cut that in half. And I used one part for the tail and one part for the neck. Then uh, the piece of paper plate that was left, I cut out a triangle. And that became the tip of the dragon's tail. And then I drew a head and cut that out, and there's his head. Now, I used markers to make my dragon green, and I used a brown marker to kind of give him some scales, but you can color your dragon any color you want, and if you don't have markers at home, you can use crayons or paint or anything else. Now, when I put my dragon together, I tried using a stapler, and that worked pretty well for me. But you make sure, if you want to use a stapler, that you have an adult help you with that. Or you could try glue and glue sticks. So, there we have our flying dragon. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. I hope you had fun. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.